Hello and welcome to 1000 Word Interviews. My name is Mordecai and today I'm joined by my friend Raf. Thanks for speaking with us today. No worries. Uh, first of all, could you give us a brief introduction and tell us a few things about yourself? Yeah, sure. Um, my name is Raf. Uh, that is my nickname. Most people know me by. Uh, my full name is Rafal. Um, I'm currently living in Melbourne, but I actually moved here from Adelaide just recently. And I'm also a painter and artist. Yeah, great. And Raph, what do you, apart from painting and art, do you have any other hobbies, things you like doing for fun? Um, I actually always love engaging in new hobbies. It's uh, almost dangerous how many projects I have on the go. Um, currently, my hobbies are getting back into skateboarding, uh, doing little dioramas. Um, with just scrap bits, mm. um, a little bit of uh, gardening, and I think that's it for now. That, that's kind of keeping it simple, but I, I usually get into too many things. So, okay. yeah. That's good. Good to stay busy. Oh, yeah. Always busy. Better than being bored. <laughs> Never bored. Okay. Um, well, today we're going to speak about a photo of yours and learn even more about you. So, we'll get started. Yeah. First of all, could you describe what we can see in this photo? So in this photo, uh, it seems that there is a chair and a table in a garden. So in the background, there is a, a pale yellow fountain with some brick lined around it. And amongst that is a, yeah, it's a garden of herbs and flowers with a footpath to the right. Um, and then closest to us is the chair and table. And on top of the table is a wooden easel. Mm. Uh, with a small journal or sketchbook with a little painting study there and a bunch of brushes, rag, and some other painting equipment. Yeah, over there on the right. And just an interesting detail, what is the painting of? So the painting that's in the little sketchbook is of the fountain that's in front of the easel, um, but because I was sitting down at the time, it is a bit more direct on in terms of uh, perspective compared to us standing up in this photo. Great. So next question, Raf. Where was this photo taken? This photo was taken in Adelaide on the outskirts in the Adelaide Hills in a German town called Handor. Okay. And if you remember, when was this photo taken? Roughly a couple of years ago, 2020. 2021, somewhere there. Yeah, so a couple of years ago, yeah. more or less. More or less. It was a little bit fuzzy in the memory, but yeah, a couple of years before I moved here. Okay, fantastic. So why have you chosen this photo, Raph? I guess, what's the story behind it? Um, the reason I've chosen this photo is um, I usually take a lot of pictures while painting. Mm. Um, that's either because um, I want to keep track of what I'm painting or the environment or the place that I'm painting in is nice or interesting or it's, it's a good memory mm. uh, to have. So here, being outside in the you know lovely weather, it was cool but warm. Uh, it was quite peaceful, sound of the river all the way past the fountain. Um, it, was just, it was just a nice experience. Yeah, fantastic. Um, if it's okay, I'm going to ask you a few questions about art or sure. your art, being an artist in general. So when did you start creating art or why? Um, so I started, I started drawing. So let's say drawing, mm. um, probably just before university coming out of high school, I was drawing in high school, you know, classic, uh, bored teenager filling time. Um, and then going into uni, I started to take that more seriously, trying to uh, capture real life in the drawing. Um, and then near the end of university, so three years later in, in the uni degree, um, I started to pick up painting. And I would just um, do that as a hobby, mm. just a little bit uh, day by day. And then probably about three years ago, roughly at this time, um, I guess, yeah, at this time I started taking it seriously. Okay. Yeah. So then you mentioned that you were at university when you started painting mm -hmm. and taking it more seriously. Were you studying art at the time? Uh, no. So I was studying, uh, graphic design. Okay. So I was, I was actually doing a lot of stuff with the computer, mm. a lot of digital work, 
Um, so painting was a nice hobby at the time to uh, step away from that kind of being in front of a screen or always. Okay. I think you've already alluded to some of these things, but what are some things that you enjoy about painting or creating art in general? Um, funny enough, it's not the final painting. Okay. Um, that's lovely for people to look at, but the actual act of painting is very enjoyable. Okay. It's uh, a combination of um, meditative, um, problem solving, um, just feeling some emotions, yeah. Um, and all those things come together in a, in a nice experience. Sometimes frustrating, yeah. but most of the time it's, it's generally quite, uh, fun or, um, entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. So, um, obviously you love painting, I guess I've got two questions. The first is what medium or what kind of art do you make? And yeah. What do you use to create your paintings? Okay. Um, so to answer what kind of paint or what, what medium, yeah. um, I use, uh, oil paint. Mm. So instead of things like acrylic or gouache, um, I use oils because they dry slower. So it gives you more time to, um, blend colors or to, um, just figure out your painting. It doesn't dry so quickly. So you still have time to figure out. Okay. Yeah. Um, and what was the other, what was the second question? I didn't, I didn't ask it, but the next question was, um, what do you like to paint? What are the subjects oh. of your paint? So the subjects of my painting at the moment mm. is a combination of putting figures into a, uh, a landscape or a, um, environment. Mm. Um, and usually I try and, um, do a twist on what's normal of, uh, maybe changing the colors of the someone's skin or shifting um, trees or things around just to give it a bit more of a uh, fantasy or fantastical feel, a bit more surreal. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's not completely abstract, but it's also not completely realist. Yeah, trying to just find a nice balance between the two. Yeah, okay. yeah. You're like trying to understand. So there's a bit of weirdness. Maybe yeah, a little bit of weirdness. That that's it. it. It's I don't I'm not too I'm not too good with um the movements and where it falls under, but okay, it's it's somewhere there. Yeah, a little bit of weirdness. Okay, fantastic. So, I guess a final question. Um, is there something that you're looking forward to in the future that maybe has to do with art or anything really? Yes. So what I'm looking forward to in the future is a large exhibition I'm planning. I usually paint quite small so for this exhibition i want to paint much larger pieces because it gives a, a different uh feeling or process uh to painting and to challenge myself so that, that's something i'm really excited about and it's quite a long-term project so hopefully in the next year and a half i can finish that off okay fantastic should be good yeah hopefully um well thanks so much for agreeing to speak to us today and sharing sharing your photo and some ideas yeah. I've learned a lot. It's been interesting. Yeah, it's been fun talking. <laughs> Fantastic. So, as always, you can find all of the questions and answers below in the description and some of the useful vocabulary or phrases from our conversation. And if you'd like to practice your English, you can choose a photo of your own that has to do with art or the outdoors and answer those same questions either in writing or out loud. So, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you, everyone. No worries. Thank you.